You're not getting rid of me. It's The Breakdown. Good morning, THS, and welcome back to The Breakdown. I'm Rowan Rising. And I'm Lauren Cornell. We've got quite the lineup for you this week. Starting off with a bang, Satya Jackson Dunning and Dory Harland covered the Davis Culture Carnival. Spoiler, there's no merry-go-round. Let's roll it. Last Friday, student government worked with clubs to put on the Culture Carnival in the Davis High Quad. Groups included the Muslim Student Association, Latinos Unidos, Japanese Club, Korean Club, ASL Club, and Chinese Club. We have some Chinese calligraphy. Uh, we have a game called Tianzi, where you kick this feather um, toy to keep it up in the air. We also have some food uh, and some tea. Some of the most popular activities at the carnival were the obstacle course and velcro suit bounce houses. Students also enjoyed cotton candy and a variety of food from different clubs. The carnival featured a number of games, including mini golf, crazy cans, and clowning around. It's super fun. I haven't lost one round yet, but I don't want to drink myself. Last year's Spring Carnival was created to provide an event for students who didn't want to go to a dance. This year, the carnival expanded, with multiple culture clubs asking to be included in a major student event. We kind of gave it a culture theme where you get stamps on your passport, which I think was pretty creative. I thought it was pretty unique. Students got stamps by visiting booths and playing games. These stamps could be exchanged for prizes, encouraging them to go to as many booths as possible. The carnival was able to draw an excited crowd, despite the fact that there were other fun events going on at the same time. I think it's a great community event, lots of people are here, and I think it's just a really fun time. For The Breakdown, this is Satya jackson Denny. Next up, we have a celebration. Last week, Mehar and Suhaila Lamba covered the Celebrate Davis Festival. Let's see how that panned out. Celebrate Davis brought the community together through a fun evening in Community Park. Many young children were eager to hop on a train that circled the festivities. Several booths were set up all around the park from various community organizations. Uh, overall, the community and the setting is really nice. Everyone's super friendly, giving away a lot of free stuff. Many flocked to the Nugget booth to pick up the free cookies it offered. The cookies paired perfectly with the live music, which started up with the band Big Poppins performing on stage. It's always super fun, and you always see people you know. It's We're celebrating Davis! Along the perimeter of the booths were four bounce houses and some inflatable games, popular attractions for the younger crowd. Um, we just came from DHS Carnival, it was super cool, and yeah, now we're just like walking around grabbing some free stuff. Whether it was a first time experience or a many year tradition, everyone was able to come together and enjoy the event. Yeah, it's my first time to celebrate Davis, I've never been here and it's really cool, so I'll definitely be coming back next year. The night ended with a big crowd around the stage where the mobility band for the Golden West Travis Air Force performed, and people of all ages danced along. This is Meher Limba for The Breakdown. The announcements you've all been waiting for. Student government. What's, What's up, up DHS? DHS? My name is Natalie. And my name's Marat, and we are your stud gov announcers. Next Wednesday, the 29th, is Senior Friendship Day. That's where you're going to be able to get your yearbooks, so make sure you show up to that. You can get your yearbooks online until Friday for $95, and then after that, it's going to be $100 at the finance office. And a quick reminder to all seniors, if you won any awards or scholarships, you must show up to Senior Award Night, and that is going to be at the Brunel Theater on the 28th. And a huge congratulations to Brooke Alexander and Daniel Hanger for winning Best Promposal. And as we all know, next week is going to be Powder Puff Spirit Week. So Tuesday is going to be tropical themed. Wednesday is going to be anything but a backpack. Thursday is going to be Adam Sandler themed. And Friday is blue and white. Uh, blue is for juniors, white is for seniors. And if you're participating in Powder Puff as a player, feel free to wear your jersey. Here's a real curveball for you. Jackie Rivera and Jamie McDonald covered Athlete Signing Day in the quad last Tuesday. What's up, DHS? My name's Jamie McDonald. And I'm Jackie Rivera. And we're your 2024 to 2025 Sideline Squad hosts. We're here at DHS Signing Day. Where student athletes commit to the colleges that they're going to play sports for. We saw a lot of great athletes commit to a lot of great schools today. Congratulations to all of our athletes. Let's take a look. We got 32 student athletes here, so let's let's... Let's start this Blue Devil train. Friends and family crowded the quad for DHS Athlete Signing Day. 
Davis had 32 athletes sign this year, with athletes from many different sports committing to continue their athletic careers in college. The athletes all sat in front of the crowd looking out at their supporters, while DHS Athletics Director Mark McGreevy gave an introduction for each athlete that included a list of their athletic accolades. Very exciting. Um, uh, it, it's, it's a fun thing to celebrate because it represents uh, an accomplishment that in, uh, is not only your ability as an athlete but as a student. After the introductions, the students signed their national letters of intent and officially committed to their chosen schools. Seniors Aiden Crawford, who committed to Cal Lutheran for track and basketball, and Evangeline Turner, who will wrestle for Grandview University, are excited to continue their athletic careers at the collegiate level. You know, it means a lot. Um, athletics are definitely something that um, affect you in a lot of positive ways, uh, and they teach you a lot about life. So, you know, I'm really excited to play at the next level, and I'm sure um, all of my fellow Blue Devils are as well. Um, it means a lot. Um, I'm going to meet my sister out there. We're going to go to the same school and dominate the team. The ceremony ended with athletes taking pictures with their friends and family. This is Jackie Rivera for The Breakdown. Goodbye. Au revoir. Adios. Ciao. We'll see you next week on The Breakdown. Breakdown.